Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. It's been a while, three days since the last upload. Been busy, but I couldn't wait another day to give you all the Sneaky Goblin farming guide after uh, the update post nerf. Um, I did do one little raid on my own just to kind of see it out. And uh, thankfully nothing has really changed. Uh, the attack strategy is still great. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, it's pretty much just going for a town hall. This is going to be specifically just dark elixir farming. Especially now that it doesn't cost elixir to um, attack. It's even more reason why you should be attacking this way and not um, the old way. Which is not the old way, but um, just going for elixir. Elixir is now... Like, kind of, I don't want to say insignificant, but it's really not something that you should prioritize anymore. This person right here, Max Elixir, he has nothing to do with it. If we collect it, we have nothing to do with it. So, uh, any gains we'll get are just going to be positive. So, the only thing we'll be spending on is our Dark Elixir, and that's why we're specifically going to just go for pumps, storages, and the Town Hall. We will be getting uh, this clan castle out of the way also, but as you can see, um, we're still being able to send uh, two sneaky goblins. Mess that one up. I'm a bit of out of practice, I guess. Um, it's still one sneaky goblin per collector, um, and the only reason why that would ever be an issue, even then three, three sneaky goblins took that out, uh, that was the same as before. If... It had been one sneaky goblin if they increased it so we needed more than one sneaky goblin per uh collector of course then we would have seen some real dip in this attack strategy but um it's very simple and nothing has really changed we might need like maybe one extra i'm using a lot of invisibility spells here this is actually not a a great use of invisibility spell but we're just going to be getting that 5k and dipping um, very simple though. We're just going in, getting the storages, getting the collectors and dipping. We're making sure that we have one jump spell with us and just pushing all our wall breakers to the front. I just realized that there might be some new people ha who haven't watched my videos before. Um, so I'll try to slow it down from here on out to kind of go through what I'm doing. Here's another 5k raid, and again, person maxed out on elixir. There's so much elixir now that uh, you shouldn't be really farming elixir because it just kind of reinstates you have to be farming for um, you have to be farming for dark elixir. It's the only thing worth farming for. Um, the thing is, I was a bit disappointed that again, max elixir. Um, we're going to go for this one, though, because we have a hole right here, which is great. So we can jump right here, get the storage right here, one test sneaky goblin, and look at that. So we're going to get, so of course that is less because it got nerfed, but um, overall we drop three. It's going to take that out, uh, or I drop four. We're going to come in, and then we're going to do that. So I think they just nerfed enough that five sneaky goblins won't take out you'll need two invisibility spells now um not a big deal when it comes to specifically farming see if we come here sneaky goblin boom takes out a storage or not storage a collector in one and uh, so we aren't actually using more sneaky goblins which means that this attack is still uh, viable so all of you who were fearful of this nerf to sneaky goblins still great we're going to pick up another 6k dark elixir um i don't know if i actually said it but what i meant to say earlier was the thing i'm kind of a little bit disappointed about is that we still need to use troop space uh we need to still buy super troops if we don't need to spend money on troops why do we need to buy super troops uh it would be a little bit frustrating for us sneaky goblin users but i guess it can't be too easy uh, th there would be actually no reason to not use, uh, Sneaky Goblins if we didn't have to boost them. 
So I still think sneaky goblins are the best attack strategy, farming strategy, but um, I think now it's more worth it. Ooh, another, this one is a bit difficult because we have a, a box base here. Don't really want to do that. Um, another box base, you don't really want to do that. The reason why you don't want to do a box base is because a lot of times your sneaky goblins will just go around the outside and you're gonna have to waste a lot of sneaky goblins kind of reining them in, making sure that they go to where you want them to go. And for the most part, it's not worth it uh, usually uh, in the long run. So we're gonna come in here, snipe out this um, elixir so that we can move to the dark elixir. Got that dark elixir. Now the best path is probably from this gold right here to the dark elixir. So. We're gonna drop it like that. We're going to drop a whole bunch of sneaky goblins. Hopefully, it can take it out before they get targeted. Nice. We're gonna drop an invisibility spell. Go towards that dark elixir. Hopefully, we go to the town hall. We do. Nice. And we're just gonna use our invisibility spells to pretty much just take out this town hall. And boom. Nice. We have a thousand left. Where is that? Over here. We're gonna take this out. Um, and I believe we'll have probably one more attack after this, maybe even two, but again, sniping it out very quick. We'll drop our heroes, because might as well snipe out some elixir. Oops. Uh, we don't really need it, but I think right here is kind of what you're supposed to do if you have heroes. I just wanted to do that once, so people who have heroes and don't know what to do with them, um, know what to do. Just snipe off something at the end of the raid, get a little bit of loot. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that. So we're going to push our wall breakers to the front. We have one more jump spell, four more invisibility spells. So it looks like we're only going to get one more raid in here. Usually with this army, you get four sneaky goblin raids. If you are really efficient, you can get five. Uh, but that's really only if there's a town hall on the outside or near the outside and you have not used a bunch of your invisibility spells. I went a little bit crazy with the invisibility spells in the beginning, and that's why I'm kind of limiting myself here. Um, oh, here's a dead base. So we're just going to snipe off the dark elixir here. Um, and then, well, because this is the last raid, we might as well take everything. But here, you see one sneaky goblin per collector is plenty enough, and uh, again, to reinstate it. If you, as long as you only needed one, that's where, like, the bulk of our sneaky goblins were going. So, because we don't need more than one, uh, this attack strategy is definitely not even affected by this update, which is what we wanted. We wanted to make sure our strategy of taking down this town hall, ooh, boom, and even then, one invincibility spell it still hasn't been touched, so... That is going to be it for the raids. Let's do a little total tally up of this little attack we did. I'm going to go reorganize this so that people who have not seen the videos in the past know what to do. But pretty much we want all our wall breakers in the front. And then the second army, want, we want all the wall breakers in the back. Then for our other spells, we want one... Oh, we need one jump for the main army. And then we're going to go jump so that we have a jump to replace our jump when we use it. Four invisibility spells, because we use invisibility spells every raid. We wanna have four, um, and four is a good buffer, so you don't have double invisibility spells, or our double jump spells. We have a jump there to refill our second jump. Invisibility, so that we have our fourth jump. So this is the order you wanna have it, and this will make it so that you'll always have a jump, and you'll always have the correct amount of invisibility spells between raids, Make sure to throw your wall breakers in front of the army so that they're cooking and can get finished up while you're raiding to make sure you always have those eight wall breakers. Um, currently for this strategy, eight is a bit overkill, um, but eight allows you to get all the loot in a 50% every single time. As long as the base is an absolute garbage for the attack strategy, eight wall breakers is that golden number that will pretty much always guarantee you all the loot. So that's why we bring the eight, just in case there's a crazy loot raid that we want to hit. Okay, so these are the attacks. So we have, how many? One, two, three, we have four attacks. So we have 5k plus 5k above it, 
is one uh, is 10k plus 6k 16k plus another six is 22k and that's not even counting the loot bonus we get as well as whatever is behind it we're looking at above 22k maybe even up to 24k uh easy dark elixir farming strategy less than 10 minutes just do it when you have the time um and because we're double boosting 50k uh every three days so as long as you attack twice no as long as you attack three times you should be profit after your third attack so make sure you're attacking at least three times in that week um but if you're really only attacking four times this probably isn't the attack strategy for you there's uh my favorite attack strategy which i will be covering now that everything is free electro dragons electro dragons kind of bussin kind of broken uh i wouldn't say broken sneaky goblins are broken the second best troop for dark elixir farming in my opinion uh but i guess that was before before not needing because i'd never tried anything because of the dark elixir so we might try some dark elixir armies and uh the future maybe mass valk but now that i look at these troops e-dragon is probably still the way to go uh but make sure you're subscribed for that content probably coming out tomorrow a day after uh very good update uh have no complaints about it besides maybe i wish that there was a at least a decrease in the amount of dark elixir we needed to boost just to make it so you don't have to attack as much with this strategy to get profit but it is what it is we'll take the free troops take the free everything um we're not going to complain about it or else supercell might take it away which they won't but you never know so hope you guys did enjoy the video and i will catch you on the next one peace